Hey guys, Coach Corey here again as we wrap up week number three and workout number six. We have the following four time, the following three movements, hand release push-ups, jump squats, and V-ups. All right, now as you're looking over this rep scheme here, this is a rep scheme that we have not done yet, right? So you may be a little bit more unfamiliar, but don't worry, I'm gonna break it down for you right here, right now. As you look at your hand release push-ups, right? It is an ascending rep scheme, so five, 10, 15, 20, 25. Your jump squats stays the same at 10 repetitions throughout the entirety of the workout. And V-ups is a descending rep scheme starting at 25 and then working your way down to five repetitions. Now the order or sequence rather um, of this workout and how you will move throughout it is that you will start with five hand release push-ups. Then you'll move into 10 jump squats followed by 25 V-ups. After your 25th V-up, then you'll work your way back up to the top. 10, 10, 20. 15, 10, 15, 20, 10, 10, and then 25, 10, 5. All right, so again, you're working your way top down, going again through those uh, individual columns there. Um, again, it is four times, so trying to get that amount of work done as quickly as you can. With that being said, we're gonna break down the movements here for you right now. So we start off with our hand release push-up, just adding on in one other element to this. So as our hands are underneath our shoulders, keeping my belly button tucked up into my spine, as I lower myself towards the floor, I'm gonna keep those elbows tucked in, right? towards my rib cage as I get on down to the ground, my chest and thighs contact. Now this is the key for the hand release. Once I'm down firmly onto the ground, I'm gonna pick my hands up and off the floor just for that split second before then I complete that push up. All right, so again, full repetition, a little on down, hands release and press back up and away. If we need to, we can always drop down to our knee as we lower down to the ground, hand release still applies. Again, as I press up and away, if you have a bench, right, maybe a chair, something available to you at home to lessen that range of motion, we absolutely can as we lower on down and press back and away. Wouldn't do the hand release on that portion though, we'll just keep it as is, all right? So that is gonna be for your hand release push-ups. For your jump squats, you're gonna have your feet just about hip shoulder width apart. From there, as we sink on down into the bottom of that squat, as we come out of that squat, we are gonna jump just so our feet leave the floor. So I should be able to fit at least a piece of paper right underneath your feet as you finish those corresponding number of repetitions. Now, if we need to, we can take out the jumping portion, right? Maybe the knees aren't really feeling it that day and we can just make it simply into a regular air squat. If that range of motion down at the bottom is a little bit challenging for us, again, go back to that handy dandy bench or chair that you might have. We can limit that range of motion, nice little tap and stand back up. Make sure again with your squats, you're initiating with your hips targeting back and then down towards the floor. All right, and then last but not least, we have our V-ups. So we're working that midline here a little bit as we get on down to the ground. All right, we have our V-ups. These are gonna be alternating. So from here, I'm gonna start with my hands up and over the top of my head as I bring my feet right up towards my hands. I'm gonna alternate here as I go. So alternating the ups, right, all the way throughout. If you can't quite reach your toe, right, no worries. Aim for mid shin, right, aim for your knee, whatever option is gonna be best for you there, we can limit that range of motion. Um, another option that we can also incorporate on in, bringing our hands underneath the small of our back just to offer a little bit of a support, right? We can always go into a nice little leg lift here. Um, if we need to, can also make this into sit-ups, right? Whatever ab variation uh, that you might wanna incorporate in if V-ups are gonna be a little bit challenging for you. So um, that is what's coming our way here, again, have some fun with it for time. It's a fun workout with your push-ups, jump squats, and V-ups, and we will see you guys back at it again for week number four.